Hello and welcome back everyone to Prototype 2 and Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. After successfully sparing Rooks, we are uh, gonna go do the, uh, well, what is effectively the final, uh, what is effectively the final Sabrina Galloway mission, the Project Firehawk, after we get our uh, evolution level, which should be another point of movement, right? Yeah. Gotta get your movement speed up. Mm. Oh, more things to go consume. So that's flying and walking slash running mobility that we improved. Yeah. Yes. Alrighty then. Mm. Mm. All right. I want to. I want to kill this uh, brawler in order to get the next uh, whatever melee upgrade he's got. I'm hoping it's bio bomb, but it's nice that it these might actually be hammer fist. It's nice that these upgrade treasure chests are just lying around, just waiting for nope, us to go again. Nope, we maxed out tendrils. Yay! Hell yeah. Tendrils are dope. Tendrils are dope. See ya. Mm. Uh oh. Strike and team inbound. Eat. It's kind of weird that we actually consume uh, consume them through the back. <laughs> you should have heard those pencil necks going on and on about increased security. I guess that's understandable. What with hell of ripping so many gen tech guy pieces. Well, it's about time somebody acknowledged the number of people we've killed. Each pencil neck gets an extra grunt for every ten grand they shell out. Uh, ten grand is a bit much for a single grunt, honestly. Mm, a stronghold 9B, which is the thing that we won't be doing. There's a specific, uh, there's a specific side mission that I wanted uh, that I wanted to show off, but I never end up actually showing off uh, in the red zone. That en that ends up being extremely darkly. Uh, that ends up being uh, uh, comedic, but not necessarily darkly comedic. But it feels darkly comedic for me. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna end up showing it off because I thought it was actually a main mission, but it is not. No, they're lair discovered. I think there's only the two lairs in Midtown, though. <laughs> the lair of the of the Rat King. No, thankfully no. <laughs> mm. Excuse me, zombie. Yay! We evaded the strike team. We lost them. Dang it! You end up running around, uh, running around, uh, up and down this main street quite a bit if you decide to actually do uh, what uh, what I did, and uh, you know bounce back and forth between each different mission. I honestly prefer well, doing it this way, but um, it makes it makes the conclusion of Firehawk seem um, uh, much uh, more spaced out than it's supposed to. Well, space nothing. Now that we max out our movement speed, we are enjoying yeah, we, this to the fullest. Yeah, we actually can just uh, run over fucking everything now, which is very yep. nice. And for the record, we're not totally maxed out on movement speed. One of the um, actually maxing out on movement speed would require us getting uh, the uh, movement speed mutation bonuses. But um, we don't really need them so much as, because now with uh, now now with uh, super sprint unlocked, you know we just we can just go places. It's very nice. Hell yeah. We do eat. Bouge. Yep, go get them, boys. Mm. Eh, fooled ya. Mm, a garrison pug. Man, I swear to God, God Dana Mercer is like a fucking cockroach. I mean, I think we put her down and she just, what, pops up again somewhere else? So it's kind of weird now that he thinks that because you Dana Mercer never gets a, confir uh, gets a confirmed killed uh, marker uh, as far as Black Watch modes. <laughs> Mm. But oh, that look. does unlock both missions for stun circuit, which is nice. Another, another side mission. Yep. Cool. Now let's ignore it. Yep. Oh, uh, predator. Uh, the predator mutations are all bonuses to uh to the stealth to the stealth gameplay. Thing is, we don't have any more stealth missions left. We uh, oh, thank uh, God. after Firehawk, we're gonna we're officially going to get into the very end of the game. Mm. 
swooping in like an eagle. Mutant, well, fire bloody, hawk, but yeah. Doppelganger eagle. Looks like he's still breathing. Yeah, no thanks to you. Listen, Project Firehawk is a bombing run. Yeah, I already spoiled that. I knew that. I need details. How about a fleet of helicopters loaded with thermobaric rockets? Thermobaric rockets. Then the rest of NYZ. Have you ever got along without me, James Heller? I'll never know. I'll keep dreaming. Operation hmm. Firehawk. You see, Galloway is under the impression that uh, that uh, Heller is playing when he says that, but no, that is actually how he feels when he says that shit. So. <laughs> They've got multiple pads around the red zone. First one you should hit is a converted dock on the East River. We must destroy the, the helicopters. The thermobaric helicopters. And once we hijack one, this mission is a fucking breeze. I love Yay. the I love these helicopters though. These helicopters are just significantly more powerful than any other piece of armor that we get access to. And it's not just because we've got a uh, level four a helicopter upgrade. Yeah, the, the helicopters uh, the is better equipped. Uh, the thermal the thermal yeah, yeah, missile pods that they've got on them are absolutely <laughs> devastating for uh for pretty much anything that they hit. Put an end to Project Firecock once and for all. Uh. No, Gerdet, don't do it. Yeah, it's not worth it. We we want we want to steal one of the one of the helicopters before we set off an alert. Okay, remember, gentlemen, maximum security time. This is what you've been training for. Uh, son, you are not authorized to operate that machinery at this time, son. Son, uh, HQ, we got a we got a bit of a situation here. Now, the the only uh, real problem that the uh, that these helicopters actually have is that they're relatively fragile, at least when it comes at least when dealing with explosive weapons. But that's honestly fine. Because, you know, they want uh, they one shot everything. So it doesn't matter how fragile they are. Okay, so so far I see only one lose condition and that's our own health bar. Yeah. Because it, it strike it strikes me that this this is the kind of mission that you want to finish in a timely basis. Uh you would think that they'd put a time limit on this, but they don't actually. I mean, we're at, we're directly interrupting P Project Firehawk by uh, having it launch earlier than it's supposed to. Yet all five of these other helicopters were already in the goddamn air. So what the hell, you know? There's no time. Use your super duper thermo wazahootsits. <laughs> thermo barrack rockets. Thank you. Mm, I love you ammo. That, you destroy any hopes they have of leaving New York a smoldering mess. And boom, baby. Kaboom. Ah. Yeah, once we got used to combat on the ground. Now we are in the air, surrounded by other enemies in the air. It's wonderful. Mm. There, we blew up the bunker. We cannot lose that base. Our entire thermal barrack reserve is inside. Do anything it takes. Anything. Right, so, like so. Rook, so Rooks won't put a bullet in our head, but he will authorize somebody else to do it. Yeah. There's only one chopper left. Bitch. Okay, careful. Running a little low on health there. Yeah, yeah, but this is the last chopper, and boom! Kablooey! Oh, that was quick. Mm. Ditch the helicopter! <laughs> My mama didn't raise no dummy. My mama raised a dude that's able to jump out of helicopters, so there. My mother was a base jumper. My father was a circus cannonball artist. My uncle, w my uncle was also a cliff jumper, but he wanted to be called a cliff jumper specifically. I don't know why. Fly. We are a flying person 
in okay. the NYZ. Flying to meet a mission contact on the ground. Boom. Why do I have a feeling this meeting will not end well? It doesn't. Come on. The way I see it, I helped you. And then I helped you some more. So you owe me. Right. You see it, huh? You know it's true. But here's the... Come here. Quick. Hide behind the car. Oh my goodness. This, ga this game's idea of remaining hidden is just ludicrous. We pretty good team, don't we? I don't want to get between you and Mercer. Besides, I'd probably catch some. Oh! Yeah. Hence why this meeting doesn't go well. By calling um, Galloway his slug, he, uh, he, he effectively just put her, her on the permanent enemies list. Which is not a, which is a thing that he's going to regret almost immediately. Hey man, I mean, you don't necessarily have to be a slut to get a, to get a, you know, syphilis. You just have to fuck the wrong person. And Mercer is the wrong person to fuck. Yeah, I would not touch that with a 39 and a half foot pole. You're a bloody one, <laughs> Alex, dude. You bleed you. all over the place. Your tendrils have destroyed the city, and you're in my face, Alex, dude. I wouldn't touch you with a bio bomb on the end of a whip fist. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mean one is such a great god not uh, is such a great goddamn track. Yeah, it's only been covered by like like at least like twenty different artists. Because it's such a good a goddamn track. It deserves that many covers. Mm. Punched your face da 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 ba, ba. See, that that was a Stank. good use of breaking fall. Stunk. All right, we're starting. We're gonna go through the cutscene for *Labor of Love*, but that will be the end of this part. Have you found her? Do you know where Maya is? I'm sorry, James. I'm so sorry. I mean, we we just bought ourselves a lot of time. We have interrupted the enemy's plans. I've got something for you. Do you want your daughter? Come and. Thanks, Rooks. James, wait. That signal went out all over Blacknet. Anyone could have heard it. So? So now Alex knows where she is, too. It's a huge trap. Of course Alex knows where, where she is. is. Alex is the mastermind. Alex doesn't actually have any control over Rooks, though. All right, everyone. Be safe.